So it's been 19 days, I think, since the last video update, since the last blog post. And uh, this time we're going to start over the west side of the house uh, where the potential bedroom and office are. Uh, just as a reminder, really, that, about the walls. And uh, these walls here have been uh, plastered with a uh, lime cement mix uh, over the wall heating. So it's a little bit rough, let's say, but you know, perfectly flat, but just a bit rough. Um, so I'm just going to show in some other rooms what we've been doing with that in between. But over here we have started with uh, filling in uh, the plasterboard stuff, so where the screws are and the joints between plasterboards. So that's all kind of more or less done, just needs a bit of sanding and that's fine. And uh, I suppose more importantly here, all the ceiling beams have now been oiled and the uh, kind of whatever calcium silicate base coat uh, that's used to fix the, uh, the the clay has all been rolled on so that's a little bit firmer and uh, we're ready to paint the ceiling actually but first we want to finish all the walls uh, so any of the kind of base skim coating and filling on the walls before we start doing any decorating which would take us neatly over to the living room so We've already started here, so the walls were exactly the same over here. Uh, this is with a kind of a plaster mix, a uh, very fine uh, skim coat to fill any of the kind of rough qualities. Um, yeah, it makes the room feel very new <laughs> and uh, almost smaller, which is very strange. Um, but yeah, it's quite a contrast, I think, now. It also feels a little bit brighter. So that just needs a little bit of finishing, a bit of sanding here and there because I'm not a professional plasterer but uh, it's quite enjoyable work. It's uh, relatively easy uh, to work with as long as you work fast enough and the window opes are a little bit of a, a challenge but uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with them. But uh, nice and bright in here now. So again here the ceilings are already prepared, all the groundwork is done, all the beams have been oiled. So it's uh, looking almost like it's finished, but yeah, just a bit, bit more kind of detailed work. And then uh, we'll put a, uh, I can't remember what it's called in English, Grundierung with sand on the walls to give a bit of a, um, bit of a texture to it, kind of a sandy texture and paint directly on top of that. Uh, we kind of think that having something absolutely smooth, you'll see every mark or dent. And uh, in this area here, we're going to have wall lighting. So uh, if I haven't been absolutely perfect, you will see every single dent or wave in the wall with the light shining down on it. So uh, anything that will distract from that will be fine. But as I say, I'm quite happy. And then the biggest change, uh, so after the previous video, well, during the previous video, the kitchen was uh, still looking like, a, well, like it had been for the previous two years uh, with, kind of stone floor and uh, cables and wires over, over the bottom of it. We had stated in the last video that we wanted to get a fluid uh, screed poured in, but after we installed the floor heating, thanks very much to our friend Satcha, who shouldn't be doing any work because he has a back problem at the moment, but he basically supervised myself and his son to install the uh, the floor heating, so the panels and then the uh, the pipes to go through that to create circuits and uh, we, then we found out that actually we, we had less than uh, kind of four and a half centimeters ideal uh, depth for the normal screed and um, so he made a few phone calls and uh, there's a company fairly local here that specializes in this synthetic resin uh, screed which is basically a resin mix with, with uh, quartz sand and uh, they came then yeah, a week or so ago, two weeks ago, nearly. And uh, yeah, in the morning, basically had this completely done. So it's not a fluid system. You have to lay it on like a normal screed and drag it over kind of leveling bars uh, to get a nice flat finish, but really, really great job. And uh, it hardened within a few hours. So unlike normal Estric, where you have to wait, uh, Estric, normal screed, where you have to wait you know, four to six weeks, depending on the thickness, for it to dry out before you can do anything. Uh, this stuff is ready the next day. We could tile it immediately. So that's really impressive. 
So that has removed some of the wait time. Uh, so in between now we've been back to the kitchen people and uh, we've revised the plans which we originally made two years ago, made sure all the equipment was still available, a few small changes, uh, some nice visualizations which I'll post onto the uh, the Bowen House blog later on. And um, yeah, we could order now and have it in six weeks or eight weeks, I should say. But in the meantime, we have to choose the floor tiles, which were almost complete in our selection. We just had to pick the color and then, uh, yeah, pick colors for the walls. But these walls have got the same treatment, so this fine, uh, fine plaster coat as a filling. And then the, um, yeah, the plaster boards have all been filled and all that, so just needs to be sanded down and the ceilings pretty much done except for some areas where these the transition between old and new i need to do something better with that because that's really ugly so uh i think i'll ask an expert for some tips but we had some ideas with our friend Satya and what we can do with webbing and uh creative use of plaster to get rounded edges but yeah let's have a look but that's where we are now lots and lots of progress and uh, yeah, the goal of moving in before Christmas seems attainable at least. I haven't gone upstairs though, that's still the same. <laughs>